Tonight at six. Well, hey, take a look. There they are. You can only imagine the conversation being had right there today under the twin spires of Churchill Downs. Cheers, tears and an alignment of history. Two giant figures in the history of the famed track are now face to face. Happy Derby, everybody. John Asher, the voice and face of the Kentucky Derby in Churchill Downs, died suddenly three years ago. But today, a renewal of his spirit and the track's other bigger-than-life figure. John Asher and Colonel Matt Wynn, no one promoted. They lived and breathed the Kentucky Derby 24-7 like these two individuals. Colonel Matt Wynn, the man who saw hope in the early years for a horse race not many cared about outside of Louisville. Former Churchill Downs president Kevin Flannery. Matt Wynn was that guy. He was the guy that created that mystique, that need to be here for the greatest two minutes in sports. Flannery had an idea in retirement, bring Asher face to face with his idol. And John, uh, I get choked up every time. John was that guy that understood the importance of what had been created here. He understood that we needed to make it better every single year. With the descendants of Matt Wynn in the audience, along with the family of John Asher. I think we're gonna create one of the must have picture locations in the city of Louisville. The unveiling. Go for it. There's John again at his favorite place, face to face with Colonel Matt Wynn. Listening, learning, soaking it all in. We've got the, the story maker and the storyteller. Let's put them together. For all time, John listening to Matt Wynn. This was sacred ground to John under these spires here for him to be with his idol, Matt Wynn. Uh, it's just perfect. <laughs> Longtime Kentucky sculptor Raymond Graff. Never been to Kentucky Derby and saw Asher only once in person, nailed it. He had such a personable smile. Uh, that came through in all the photographs. Dee Asher told us her family saw the statue one hour before this moment. And take a look. You can tell they love it. There's going to be definitely times when we're going to be sitting on that, that bench having conversations. He'd be kicking me in the rear end. John would have said we should have done something else because that's how John is. It was never about John. But he would have loved this scene. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. Maybe the toughest critics? Asher's youngest grandson. <laughs> so real. And John has a lot to look forward to, by the way. His youngest daughter will soon be out of nursing school. Definitely when she graduates, this is where we're going to have the party. Right out here with John. It's no wonder we shed a tear when we sing my old Kentucky home. Way. And at least today, more smiles. Well, John's brother, Tim, told me that in 2019 that their mother would put John on the Greyhound bus from Litchfield, his hometown, to come here to Louisville to stay with his uncle when he was 11 and 12. His uncle would meet him at the bus station and they would go straight to Churchill Downs. By the way, you can see the statue starting today. The September meet is underway.